I was in the salon at a young age because, you know, I was 15 and I was just really into beauty. I loved everything about it. Makeup, hair, fashion. I was always just very interested in that and I thought, you know what, like I've worked at in retail for a little bit. I actually kind of did retail and was in high school and I worked in the salon so I was kind of had my hands in a lot of different things and yeah, I when I was when I was 15, I decided to go into the salon because I really loved getting my hair done. I loved getting my hair done. I loved the whole vibe. I liked the environment, um, and it was just a fun job. And I was able to get my hair done for free, so that was really cool. I decided to pursue becoming a professional hairdresser. 18. Yeah, 18. So I'd worked in the salon for a few years and. The reason why I wanted to do it was because I saw all these really amazing women. We just happened to have women hairdressers there. there. I don't believe, I don't remember there being any guys there actually, but I just remember seeing all these really amazing women taking care of themselves. They had this flexibility in their schedule and they really loved what they did. And it was a creative outlet for them. And I just thought it was, it was a good backup plan. Like I thought that it would be a cool thing to do and then go back to college and get a degree. You know, love my parents, but they definitely weren't the most supportive at first. I think they were a little concerned with, um, you know, how to, how hairdressers actually make a living. And I saw it firsthand working in the salon when I was a teenager that, you know, these, these girls that I was working with were killing it. Like they just made great money. They were free to do what they wanted with their time. Um, and it was flexible and they could wear whatever they wanted so just it like at that age it was really inspirational it was cool to see yeah my parents they uh they definitely love what i'm doing now um and my mom always told me though no matter what i wanted to become that i should just become the best at it no matter what it is and i just kind of took that uh, advice that she gave me when i was a kid and ran with that i'm just kind of stayed tried to stay true to that as much as I could. So I think, and that's something that a lot of us struggle with, is uh, just getting your close circle's acceptance of wanting, of, of you becoming a hairdresser because there's this notion that you can't make a good living. And that's actually what created my personal fear of, can I actually make a living doing this, you know? So um, I think that I was very driven by that. I'm, one of those people that if you tell me I can't do something, I'm gonna try even harder to, to make it happen. So that was a, a big fear of mine, was just being able to take care of myself doing it. But that was a fear that was in, put into my head um, because I saw the people that I worked with doing it every day and they were doing amazing, so I knew it was possible. As far as people trying to talk me out of it, um, that, didn't, that didn't really happen too much. Um, and I was able to block a lot of that noise out anyway and just, focus on the craft and what I wanted to do and just try to stay true to being a creative person and really had a very strong desire to make a living out of it, out of being creative through hair, through making people feel good. So I think as long as I just stayed focused, that's kind of what got me through some of the hurdles. But, you know, anyone going into this, you, you will have that, you, you may have that where people might think like, oh, hairdressing, like it's not the most prestigious thing, but when you actually know what goes into it and the craft and how hard it is, I just, I wish people knew more of that because I think that it would really change the perception of what hairdressing is and how, how difficult it is and why we deserve to be paid the way that we deserve to be paid. <laughs> I've, I've been very, fortunate to have people in my corner that have that I've, I've trusted that have given me really sound advice throughout my career so and I've and I've listened and sometimes some of us struggle with is actually just listening to advice like we ask for advice but we don't necessarily always take it so if you're gonna ask for advice I would say get it from someone that you really trust and that you um, you know that you value their their knowledge and experience on because they will give you the proper guidance and I, I feel very blessed that I was able to have that in my life. Yeah, the, the path of hairdressing has been so 
interesting. And you, once you realize that you you don't have to work behind the chair your entire career and you can do so much more than that, it's like the, the door just gets blown wide open and you're able to really explore even deeper what you can do for the industry. So um, I try not to live in regret because I think that everything is always, a, there's always a learning lesson behind everything that you do. So. I don't have any regrets. The thing that I love the most about being a hairdresser, there's, gosh, there's so many things. I, I really, what it comes down to is I really love making people feel good, feel confident, feel changed, feel a connection with. Um, I love that. Hairdressers are just great, like just good people. Yeah, I've traveled a lot. That's That's been really crazy to me that I've actually been able to travel as a hairdresser. That, blows my mind I never even thought that I'd be able to do that but um, yeah I mean I I didn't know that becoming going into becoming a hairdresser would actually take me down this path um, but I think that it, it just goes to show and I and I have several friends that have taken similar paths and it's just the thing I think that everybody kind of has in common is that they've stayed focused they've surrounded themselves with good people and they genuinely are passionate and love what they do and on top of that they have a real desire to make it better so which is why education is always in the corner of everything that we're doing just trust your intuition so if there if you are really kind of teetering on the idea of becoming a hairdresser and that's something that your mind keeps going back to I think you should just do it the cool thing about becoming a hairdresser is that you will always have that skill and that craft. And that's what I think is the beauty of it because you, no one can take that away, you know, and you'll always have that. So I would just say, just do it, just do it. And, but really, if you're gonna do it, do it as well as you possibly can because it's kind of saturated and you really wanna make sure that you have um, the competitive skill that are, that's gonna get you there. And I think that that's where Bellis does a really amazing job of developing young talent so yeah I mean just do it